Hey, this is Rob Groupie with Twice Bitten CrossFit, and today I'm going to share with you guys a little bit about how BMR works, and that stands for Base Metabolic Rate. That means the amount of calories and nutrients we need to take in for our body to neither gain nor lose any weight. A lot of us uh, are going to be using MyFitnessPal to help track this, so I'll, I'll share a video with you about that as well. But for now, we're going to use uh, a calculator called Keto Calculator that's going to help us find out uh, what our nutrient intake needs to look like. So this works off of your personalized information. So in here, I have my personal information. So I've got in here that I'm a male. I just click on male. I'll put my weight in. So right at about 230 pounds, six foot two, put my birth date in there. And then it comes down to uh, what's called your base metabolic rate when you have like no activity level at all. So this is showing for me that if I don't do anything that I need to take in 2,032 calories for me to neither gain nor lose any weight. So then down below here it talks about our different levels of energy expenditure. So the sedentary one would apply to the first, like we're not doing anything, we've, we're just sitting around, no activity level. And then the first one, uh, or the second one, light activity, you know, uh, moving around just a little bit, one to three hours per, of light exercise per week, and then moderate, three to five times a week. Uh, and then it goes to very active. Um, so that's where I would consider myself in there, work out pretty much every day. So that's going to bring, given that activity level, that's going to bring my, uh, my caloric intake up to 32.85 for what I would need to take in given that activity level for me to neither gain nor lose any weight. So, and then it goes on to talk about uh, your body fat percentage, it takes that into account. So I've entered my body fat in there, so somewhere around 10, uh, 15%, in between 10 15%. So I'm just gonna use 15% for the purposes of this video. And then we're going to learn what our optimal macronutrient ratio is. Our macronutrients are our fats, our proteins, and our carbohydrates. So first it's going to talk about how many carbs can I eat. So with ketogenic meal plans, which is what I follow personally, um, and you know I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian, but this is something that I've found effective for me and that I've learned through the fitness contacts that I have and we've found it to be really effective. So <clears throat> I've got in here, it's got me at 25 net carbs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change that to, I'm going to say 50. 50 grams of net carbs and how we find net carbs is by minusing out any dietary fiber and sugar alcohol. So in here, it gives an example that we want to get about 10 to 15 grams of our carbohydrates from vegetables, 5 to 10 grams from nuts and seeds, and then 5 to 10 grams from fruits. So, and then it talks about how much protein we want to get in there. So this gives you a range to shoot from to how much you would take in if, for me, anyway, with my numbers in there, how much I would take in if I was not exercising at all, which would be about 117 grams of protein, and then how much I would take in if I was being very active, and then would choose somewhere in between there. So I put in about 190 grams. And then it also shows in here, asks us about how much our fat intake should be. So it gives you some options and, and, and variants in there, and it also, adjust your numbers based off of what you put up there earlier. So it says now that I have chosen 50 grams of carbs and 190 grams of protein, um, then here it's going to let us uh, choose our fat intake. So on the lowest intake that I could do is 27%. My chosen intake is going to be 15%. So It'll, it'll also tell you under here um, if your deficit, like because the, the way we lose weight is we want to take our 
base metabolic rate, which in here, you know, mine, mine is here for my high activity base metabolic rate. The one on the left shows mine if I have no activity at all. So, and then in here we want to choose a number that's going to create a slight deficit. So for me, if I wanted to do uh, about a 500 calorie per day deficit, which is, this is around that right there, let's see, I think 29 or 2684, I think that's five or 600 calories. So anyway, if, if I have a 500 calorie per day deficit, that would put me on track to lose about a pound a week because 3,500 calories makes up a pound. So, and, and again, this, this little bar down here will tell you, like if, you're, uh, if your numbers are too low or too high, like if I start reducing my number here, then that shows way too low that I'll start uh, losing muscles there. So I'll bring that back up. So even there, still too low. That's saying that'd be really tough. So I'll put it back up to, there we go. So it really helps guide you along. And then after you put that in there, it's gonna show your personal results, which is gonna tell you what your calorie intake is with your chosen deficit, and then what your numbers should look like on my fitness pal. So it's got me at 50 grams of carbs, 190 grams of protein, and 200 grams of fat. And then it also shows in there my percentages. So I can adjust my percentages in my fitness pal. So I would put my fat intake at 65%, my protein at 28%, and my carbs at 50%. So this would be what my fitness pal chart would be looking like. And then it, this shows my, my deficit per day. So I've got a 524 calorie deficit per day uh, based off of the numbers that I put in. So this also gives you a little more information. So this shows that if I stick to that, then I'll lose 4.4 pounds in my first month. And it also talks about how body weight can fluctuate given the amount of water we've taken in. Just for reference, you know, one uh, gallon of water is eight pounds. So sometimes, I mean, I sweat a lot. So the difference between uh, if I weigh myself before my workout and after my workout, sometimes I'll lose, you know, five pounds in water weight. So that's going to differ and vary a little bit for everybody. So, and this also allows you to uh, give you an estimate of uh, how long it'll take to, uh, to see when you reach your goal. So just some information in here to play with. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, be sure to hit me up or shoot me a message. Uh, all right, hope this was helpful and I will talk to you soon.